We're going to be using our powerful knowledge of logarithms to solve exponential equations such as this one. Notice that the two bases are different and our value that we want to solve for, the x is stuck up here in the exponent. If I were to look at this, and plot them, I would see that, sure enough, these two equations do cross, but I really have to zoom in to try and figure out where they actually do cross. So what we need to do, of course, is isolate x, and we're going to do that by taking the log of both sides of this equation. And when I take the log of both sides of the equation, I can handle my exponent, and now that I've taken the log of both sides, I'm all ready to use my power rule, and when I use my power rule, these exponents can come down in front of the logs. Now I have to do some expanding and collect like terms with x. Now my x's are still badly mixed up with other terms, and so what I'm going to do is expand both these sides using the distributive property. So there's my expression completely expanded, 3x times the log of 6 plus 1 times the log of 6, 5x times the log of 4 plus 2 times the log of 4. What I need to do now is collect all my like terms. I'm going to move all my x's over to the left side and all of my non-x terms to the right side. And so I've collected all my like terms, all my x's on the left side and the other terms on the right hand side. Now I'm ready to factor out my x's. And so I have an x in both terms. I'm going to take an x out of both terms. And there we go. Now I'm ready to isolate my x. And of course I can do that just by dividing both sides by this really long combined log term just like that. And now I have a single expression that will tell me what x is. 